Hi, I'm Dorothy Fagan. Today I'd like to share a very special place on an inland waterway of the Chesapeake Bay near my home in Virginia. I've painted here for 20 years and during my healing journey, I found my heart in this inland waterway marsh. Where to begin? An experiment in watercolor? Green, more green, different kinds of green. Bluish green, deep green, verdant green, permanent green. Okay, an experiment. I can do an experiment. No one will know I ever painted this. It can be an experiment, just me and you. No words could express how I felt after the attack in my studio. Only colors. Screaming chartreuse. Raging red. I was determined not to let the actions of one person dictate what I wanted to do with my paintings. And yet, I couldn't paint the pictures I was painting the day before. The delicate, subtle, abstract landscapes weren't there to be painted anymore. The white papers I had been painting on went away. Instead, I began painting on dark, earthy green papers, brown papers. Every stroke of pastel looked stunning and, and jewel-like against those dark colors. Careful brush strokes turned to scribbles. Layers and layers of scribbles in, in colors I'd never seen before. So vibrant, one morning after I'd painted, I was certain that someone else had painted the pictures in the studio. I remembered painting them, but recognized the brushstrokes as my own? I did not. The crater must have painted this, but I don't, didn't see how that could possibly be. Why would the creator choose me? I stopped painting. I couldn't be with the idea were the responsibility of having such a thing be true. I gave away all my paintings and just stopped. In the darkness, I found colors. Listen to the tide. It tells you all you need to know. The creator's voice ebbs and flows. Ride the wave. When the wave crests, you didn't lose the flow. It's just time to rest. chance to violate all the rules. Watercolor has so many rules. Since I'm not a watercolorist, I grab the color that attracts my eye. That magnificent green in the marsh, the verdant, fertile, dripping, 
limey green that makes my heart tick. I love that color. I want to swim in that color. Mix up more than I can use. Dribble it all over the place. Dabble it. Who cares? No one will ever see the painting anyway. At least my heart will have said what it wanted to say. If there's no clear message, it means to stop, to rest, take a pause. Busyness will fill the space and block the view and voice inside. Step back and breathe. Breathe in all the love around, the sunlight, fresh air. It only takes a minute. One pause, one breath of fresh air is enough space to hear the Creator's voice clearly. Shadows. Shadows below the marsh. What color? Earthy colors, yellow ochre, lizarin crimson, lavender. Coming up from below, anchor me to the earth, grounding my energy, attach me to the beauty of this very special place. Mixing the darks, deep, vibrant darks, deep blue, lavender, without them, Where would I be? There are many people suffering from trauma. However big or small, like a hair trigger, anything can set it off. Art gave me a way of handling the stresses, one at a time, scribbling them out, coloring them, talking about art, journaling about art, looking at, looking at art, any of it, any of it all, even watching a video about art can can help someone heal. Subscribe to the Joy's Garden channel for weekly videos. Leave your comments. I love hear your stories. Thank you so much for watching.